Hey viewers, welcome once again to my channel. My name is Victoria. If you're here for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Here I share sewing tutorials, DIYs and pattern making. And if that's what you're interested in, kindly hit the subscribe button, like my videos, share with your friends. Leave your thoughts in the comment section and make sure to turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So today I'll be sharing with you how to draft a three pieces cupped corset with Queen Anne's neckline and if this is what you like to learn kindly stay tuned to the end so guys I've gone ahead to draft my basic bodies block and it's all laid on the table and as you can see I am labeling my pattern so guys I want you to note that the length of this block is 23 inches because that is where my upper hip is okay yours might be 22 inches it totally depends on your size okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to divide my shoulder measurement by two and mark and from there I will connect it back to my bust point like so once I was done doing that, guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to determine my cup measurement. So from the shoulder line, I will measure um, 6.75 inches downwards. And on both sides, I will take 0.75 inch for my overbust contouring. And once I was done marking that, I will connect it back to my bust line like so. So I'll go ahead and connect those back to my shoulder line as you can see me doing. So guys, after connecting that, I will, div I will divide that intake on that part and use it to redraw my armhole because I don't want to have any um, shortage on that part. It's better to have excess on the armhole area because it could easily be trimmed out than to have um, shortage, okay? So the next thing I did was to tighten my neckline. So I came down by 0.5 inch and connected it back to the tip of my armhole like so. So the next thing I did was to contour my underboss. So I measured my underboss circumference measurement divided by four. And I took the measurement on the underboss line, then skipping my dart and whatever I have left, I use it to contour my underboss. So note that the... Um, smaller measurement goes to the center front side and the bigger one goes to the side front side okay so i basically took 0.25 inches from the dart line on the center front side and on the side front i took 1.25 inches okay so on the hem part of the dart i went ahead to open it up by 0.25 inch on both sides i went ahead to connect it back to the underbust so at this point i'm trying to determine how low i want the neckline to be so i went up um, from the bust line by 0.75 inch and i connected it back to the dart as you can see so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark half an inch all the way to the underbust line so i changed to my pencil because i felt this is going to be a temporary line okay so after marking that guys the next thing i'm going to do is to come in by 0.25 inches from the underbust line at the center front area. This will guide me while drawing my cup, okay? So I've gone ahead to draw my cup as, as you can see. And at this point, I'm trying to blend that part out because we don't need any sharp edge on that part so the next thing to do is to close my bust dart but before doing that we have to open the waist dart like you all know for you to close a dart you have to open another one so we are basically trying to transfer the bust dart to the waistline so you, we have to you know in order to close the bust dart the aim is to transfer it to somewhere else so we have to open that part which we want to transfer the dart to for for it to work okay that's basically what we did so we transferred the boss that to the waistline as you can see and you can see more volume on the waist that okay so after that guys i went ahead to redraw the side um line okay and because it wasn't matching any longer and i went ahead to draw my curve so guys from the chest line i came in by 1.5 inches to and then I drew my side curb from the under bust, okay? That's to enable me to help me draw my side curb. I mean, it would guide me on how to draw my side curb. 
so the next thing i'm going to do is to um draw my neck style line okay so from the dart intake on the side at the armhole area i went in by one inch i actually went in by 0 0.75 inch but it wasn't enough so i went ahead to remark it to one inch and from the tip of the neckline i'll go ahead and draw my style line so after that guys i went ahead to draw my pattern so that i will redraw my core because i know that it's definitely not matching okay So can you see that? You can see that the lines are no longer matching. So I want to redraw um, my curve on the upper part, okay? I'll go ahead and use my curve ruler to redraw it. So this is the importance of pattern drafting. You'll be able to correct every mistake while drafting your pattern, okay? So once I was satisfied with what I have, guys, I will go ahead and do that at the upper part so that I will also redraw my style line for the neck, okay? So you can see that the two lines are no longer matching. So I'll go ahead and redraw the style line for the neck area, and this is what I have. And after that, guys, I'll go ahead and cut this out. So guys, you can see that my neckline are in two pieces. Okay, that's because of the dart. So I'll go ahead and tape it together so that it will be in one piece. And this is what I have. So I'll go ahead and set this aside and work on the back piece. All right. So before doing that, on the side, I, I went up by 1.5 inches. And I'll go ahead and connect it back to the tip of the dart. Okay. On that part and after that guys I will go ahead and cut it out so guys you can decide to have multiple um, style lines on the on these bodies but I just wanted it to be like this I just wanted two pieces on the bodies all right this is exactly how I want it to be like okay I think I've had that enough so I'll go ahead and label the yoke and also set it aside then I will work more on the cup part okay remember i told you that we'll be drafting a three pieces cup so on the side cup okay i went down from the bust line by 0 0.5 inch and on the side i went up by 0 0.5 inch from the bust line too okay so i'll go ahead so i went ahead to tape the upper part together as you can see and i also tried to connect the two lines the two i came down from the upper part by 2.5 inches on the side and on the center front curb part i came down by half of an inch from the dart from the bust line okay so after connecting the two curb, the two lines together this is what i have so i will go ahead and label my curb pieces as you can see So guys, this is what I have for the front and I'll set them aside. So on the back piece, guys, at the dart area on the hem part, I went ahead to open the dart by 0 0.25 inch on both sides and I went ahead to mark that, okay? So at this point, I want to determine the um, how low I want the yoke to be. So I used the chest line and I went ahead to connect my dart to that point. And on both sides, guys, I went ahead to open up the dart by 0 0.25 inch. And I'll go ahead and connect it back to the waistline like I did, just like I did on the hem part. So after that, guys, this is what I have. From the neckline, I, for the, um, yoke style line on the neck area i came up from the chest line by 2.5 inches and i connected it back to the dart 
okay so i basically went up by 2.5 inches and i'm connect and i connected it back to the dart and this other part is where i'll be attaching loop so on this upper part guys i went ahead to mark two inches and on the hem part i marked one inch that is where i'll be fixing either my eyelet or my loop okay so after that, I went ahead to connect the two doors together. And just like I did to the front part, on the side, I went up by 1.5 inches. And I decided to use the same measurement at the center back. And I went ahead to connect the two doors together. So like I said earlier, this is where I'll be attaching my loop or my eyelet. Okay. So the next thing to do is to cut this whole piece out. Okay. To cut my pieces out. So after cutting out guys, this is what I have. Like I said earlier, you can decide to have multiple style lines, but this is just what I want. So guys, this is my front and the back pieces and they are all laid on the table as you can see. Okay, so I'll go ahead and make sure to label all the patterns guys and this is what I have. This video is basically pattern drafting. You know how we, um, I've made a lot of tutorials on how to sew your corset um, top so you can use the same process for this video and with these guys we've come to the end of today's class don't forget to subscribe like my videos share with your friends and don't forget to turn on your notification bell bye guys see you in my next one